great Kali. You probably won't have this much dough, but right now I'm at a Jewish camp in Northern California and about to teach 27-year-olds how to make it. So if they can do it, you can do it. And I'm teaching them the traditional sixth grade because I thought that it would not only be beautiful, but it tells the story from Leviticus. The 12 tribes were told to bring their Chava to the, the temple. But I always thought they just brought it and put it in a line of 12, but their commandment is they must place it in two rows of six. And, and I found it very interesting because if in two rows of six, if you had a medieval Jewish cook who wanted to elevate the, the challah for Shabbat, taking the regional tradition of braiding bread, isn't it interesting that if you put a six braided column next to a six braided column, it would mimic the laws in Leviticus saying that you should have them in two rows of six. So today I'm going to show you how to do the traditional six braid. Okay, so I'm going to take my six strands and I'm lining them up perpendicular to the end of the table. And I'm more or less going to pinch it together. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to pinch it together at the end. But I'm going to take the middle two and I'm going to twist them. So basically, if you were looking at the six strands, here's three over four, four goes up. So now I always have one in the center, one up, two to the left, and two to the right. And when you're braiding a braid, you know, just like braiding hair, you always want to make sure it's a tight braid, not so loose. So we'll be moving this over to the side, or, but you'll see. So we start with the right. We're going to pick it up in our right hand, but we're going to transfer it to our left hand. Never put the dough down. If you put the dough down, that's when you get confused with which strand you were working with. So, over two. So basically we're going over the center, but there's one in the middle of those two. So it's over two, down, up. Now the other side, so you alternate left side and right side. Over two, and you see I switched it to my right hand. Push this out of the way to get a nice tight braid. Down, up. Over two, 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 down, up. Getting a little thin there, but that's okay. Over two, down, up. And I'm going to try to end with this nice big fat one because it'll give me a nice finished product. Over two, down, up. Now I'm going to take the interior strand, interior strand to pinch it together, exterior, exterior, bringing them all to the end. And then I come down with the last one, pinch it together, pick up the dough and walk the dough back because you don't want to wind up with a big blob at the very end of your challah. Okay, and then this side, which doesn't look good, will look good in a minute because what we're going to do is pinch it together, walk the dough back, shape it out, and there you have your perfect six braided challah. Enjoy. Keep practicing and enjoy your finished product. Thank mm -hmm. you.